anterior, middle, and posterior. And you, uh, just, just get rid of that. So you can, if I bring in the brain, you can see how it just sits in the in these fossa. So I'll just get rid of the outer membrane, and now you can see the cerebellum and the brain stem sitting in the posterior cranial fossa. You can see the temporal lobe sitting in the middle cranial fossa, and you can see the frontal lobe sitting in the anterior cranial fossa. Okay, so now that I've covered that, we can go back to talking about the foramen. Or foramina. Okay. So just to remind you, I'm going to be doing this in a few parts. So um, if you're getting a bit bored by this and you want to see all the cranial nerves and how they pass through, um, I'll be using views like this from the base of the skull, sh showing you what kind of structures pass through. Um, and views like this showing you how the cranial nerves pass through. But this tutorial, I'm just focusing on the foramina themselves. So, again, looking superiorly down at the base of the um, skull, I'm just going to work from anterior to posterior and talk about these um, foramina. So, these holes here, right at the front, are the optic canals and you saw remember you saw them from the outside so these little holes here which sit medially in the orbit so these are the that's the optic canal and then if you remember the superior orbital fissure that's this here And just going back to the external view, the superior orbital fissure here, which you can see. So then we've got a few, few more which you can't, which you couldn't see from the external view that I showed you just before. So you've got these holes in the middle cranial fossa. So posteriorly and laterally in the middle cranial fossa you've got a little round hole on either side here so this this is called the foramen spinosum and that's the most lateral and posterior in the middle cranial fossa and then you've got this big oval shaped structure well not structure hole um, and this is aptly named the foramen ovale and then just, you can't quite see it from here, so I'm going to rotate the skull around. Oh. So you can see just below the superior orbital fissure, you can see this little round hole here. And again, this is named the foramen rotundum because of its shape. And that lies anterior to the foramen of ovale. So you've got the spinosum, the ovale, the rotundum, and then you've got this huge laceration here. So this is called the foramen lacerum. And this is actually, in life, it's filled with cartilage. So no structures actually pass through this, this one. So again, laterally you've got the foramen spinosum, then you've got the foramen ovale, and then you've got the foramen rotundum. Okay, so that's the foramen of the middle cranial fossa. Now we're just going to look at the foramen that you've got in the posterior cranial fossa. So this one here is the internal auditory meatus. And then if you work yourself slightly inferiorly, and posteriorly you've got another foramen which is the jugular foramen and quite a few structures pass through that. Working f even further in, further down more inferiorly you've got the hypoglossal canal and then obviously 
you've got this huge one in the middle and that's the foramen magnum. So again, magnum in Latin means great. So it's the great foramen and the brain stem passes through here and this is sort of where it becomes the spinal cord. So this is the foramen magnum. So just looking from this view, because in a lot of atlases you get this superior view. So you've got the can't quite see it very well. But you've got the internal auditory meatus here. You've got the jugular foramen, and then you've got the hypogossal canal and the big foramen magnum. So just to very quickly recap what I've been over, you've got the optic canal at the front, the superior orbital fissure, the foramen rotundum, you've got the foramen spinosum, the foramen ovale, the foramen lacerum in the middle cranial fossa, and then in the posterior cranial fossa, you've got the internal auditory meatus, the jugular foramen, and the hypoglossal, hypoglossal canal, as well as the big foramen magnum down here. إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الاشتراك بالقناة والإعجاب والتعليق على الفيديو وأيضا لا تنسى المشاركة جميع الحقوق محفوظة لقناة Arab Doctors Tube